All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and tell everybody that we are on air. If you don't mind, just share the link in your Skype and in you know Facebook, whatever you have. Today we have a topic is about seeing the Prophet Muhammad in your dream. Uh, me myself, I did not see him yet, thanks to God. Uh, but I think it's this is a good topic because some people they told me about. I mean, somebody asked me to talk about that. Uh, you know, we heard of many Muslims uh, converting to Christianity because uh, the Messiah he appeared in their dreams. But what if Muhammad appeared in your dream? What is going to happen exactly? I'm not sure if any of you thought about this before. So today we are going to review with you together the appearance of Muhammad in a dream. How Muslims, they take that and how they think about it and what exactly it meant for them. Because, you know, everybody, something mean for him. Like, you know, as an example, if I am married and my mother-in-law, she appeared to me in my dream, I'm not sure what that exactly mean, you know, and I mean like things happen. So Muhammad appearing to you and you're a dream and you are a Muslim. What is that? What is the impact of that? And what is it your prophet coming to you? Is it really Muhammad coming? It's just a dream. We, we don't know really. So we are going to see what the Muslim says about about that. So please invite your friends. Uh, share the link around uh, Don't forget to do so so people they can come and join us uh, I'm not going to you know like uh, Make my own let us say understanding of this We will read together what the Muslims believe about seeing Muhammad in the dream What it's uh, what exactly that mean for them and if there is any Muslim would like to call me let me know uh, my Skype is on, but right now I am invisible. So soon I will make it visible. Uh, uh, by the way, I made by mistake the uh, the title yesterday uh, that the big Egyptian, you know, he was going to come today. It's tomorrow. It's my mistake. Uh, Somehow I thought, you know, like I look at the screen, it says a Friday. Uh, so I thought it's, you know, like I thought I did not pass a Friday yet, you know. So I said, okay, maybe it is. So tomorrow it is, uh, but I did not notice that I, I pass already <laughs> the 12 o'clock. Anyway, so like it was a, just a, a mistake. Tomorrow we will have a debate with Sheikh Ruhi. He is a sheikh from the Al Azhar University. He is an imam. He's a sheikh. Um, he is not like one of those kids, you know, who have no idea what they are talking about. So we have, we will have tomorrow a professional, a cleric, uh, uh, educated. Uh, he have degrees in his religion. He is qualified to take and answer questions. So it's going to be a very good uh, debate. All right, and. Um, uh, don't forget please to make a donation for me because I think after the debate I'm going to need to go to the hospital I mean in case you never know I mean I might have heart attack I might uh, get a broken I need to fix uh, glue arm leg uh, teeth you know it's gone you never know so we better uh, 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 yeah, it's it's better if you ask me how to spell his name right now because later I might lose my teeth So I'm not going to be able to say it correctly. I get the point. Yeah So uh, don't forget to make a, a donation, please. So in, in case of emergency at least we can afford to go to the hospital all right And uh, I want you to notice the comment after we finish the debate I want you to see what the Muslims they will say about the debate. I will shave my mustache not all of it, like just maybe five foot. If the Muslim did not say, I paid this guy. Do you remember when I have a debate with the, with the Sheikh, his name uh, uh, Al-Husayni? 
the head of the Islamic Center of Michigan and he is the head of the Shia in the whole USA actually go and see the, 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 the comments the Muslims they claim that this guy is a fake Muslim a sheikh is wearing the thing the turban the beard the, the guy he, he went in Fox News like five six times he is the head of the Islamic Center of uh, of, uh, of Michigan and I paid him all right so I hope the Muslim will not accuse me tomorrow that this guy is paid by me the name of the sheikh is Ruhi. I do not know really the rest of his name. So, sorry, uh, sorry, I did not ask him. Oh, he can say tomorrow if you want. I don't know. For me, I did not ask him, and I don't really care. I don't even care who is he. I mean, who care? All what I know, he's a sheikh from Egypt, etc. Uh, oh, everybody is welcome. I never ask anyone what his qualification because at the end of the day, all Muslims have no ideas what Islam is about, and nobody will, will have an answer. And tomorrow you will see. Uh, you know debating someone he claim or let's say he is a sheikh Because in this case he is not a claiming he is uh, Will make it a lot easier for me because I'm not going to shout and scream with, with it like with a stupid idiot like yesterday He spent we spent two hours just to prove to me that Allah he speak only Arabic and Musa's book is not the Torah and Jesus book is not the Injil in the Quran and uh, uh, Allah he gave them the book in Arabic, but they translated to Hebrew I mean you will not waste your time with this stupid uh, things uh, anyway <clears throat> so let us go let us go to business and what if you see in your dream the Prophet Muhammad this guy he's a flying I mean I, I don't know how this guy he did this what happened man I mean obviously he saw Muhammad for sure it looked like it there's one of two reasons to make him a flag like this either he saw Muhammad or he saw his mother-in-law it must be something I mean something make you fly in the wind so let us go to the Muslim website and see what the Muslims say about seeing the Prophet in a dream all right this is a Muslim website Islamic questions Question and answer. Sheikh Muhammad Saleh Al Munjid, the one who was answering this guy, is a big name. He's, this guy is not a joke, by the way. He's like a very, very big potato. Seeing the Prophet, peace, a blessing of Allah upon him in a dream. Okay. You, you know what? I found it very nice if I can make uh, uh, the speech to text read the text because it turned very funny. Let me show you what I mean. What is Islam questions and answers? YouTube, the four pillars of Muta Muta, temporary marriage in Islamic law books on Islam and Muslims all Islam.org. 14. Ibrahim, Abraham. What? Read Quran in English translation by Yusuf Ali. YouTube. What? 32. What tafsirs, etc. Ibn al Kathir for Quran verse 15. What, what, what is that? Where, where is this thing is reading? I highlighted, I highlighted this one. What YouTube and we use Yusuf Ali? What this is? What's happening here? Unbelievable! Let us try something else. I don't know what's happening. I'm really. I think my computer he saw Muhammad in the dream already. Let us try again. Once I saw Muhammad saw in my dream, but he was like a young guy or a young children. Of course, his saw appearance did not match with what I read about him saw but i think hope that it was he saw, saw because i asked him saw, saw are you indeed saw. really muhammad saw he saw, saw said saw. yes who except him saw. saw himself can say that in the second time there was a voice like in old times when somebody is coming to the castle of the king this voice said muhammad saw a very handsome man at the age between 40 45 came and just show me a piece of paper and that was it how can i know that in both dreams it was he saw saw it's me you're looking for saw he come to me and show me a piece of paper saw 
All this drama is about a piece of paper, so... And now the whole world is busy with my dream, so... I mean, the whole drama here is about a guy, he came to you. He don't even look like Muhammad, as you said. I mean, do you know how Muhammad looked like? And then you call him Saw every... They don't even dare to say his name without saying Saw. What is that Saw? Like, you cut things with it? So, the Prophet Saw came to me Saw, and he gave me a paper Saw, and but he was looking like a young or a child Saw, and I'm not sure if he Saw was the real Saw or the fake Saw, so what do you think, brother, about what saw he was saying to me, saw? Now, the Muslim scholar is given to give the answer. All right? Treat started by saying, praise be to Allah. Firstly, I like it when a Muslim shake, he say firstly. When a Muslim shake, he say firstly, it means he will say nothing. It means it's the, 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 the bull, uh, you know, started. Firstly, all right. It should be noted that it is possible for a person to see the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, in a dream, and that the shaitan cannot appear in the image of the Prophet, oof. peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, oof, oof. but he could appear in another form and claim that he is the Prophet. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Hold on. It was narrated that Abu. Oh, hold on, 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 hold on. Guys, anyone understand what is, what this guy he just said now? I mean, do you say I, he's uh, when I why when he said firstly, I know something is coming. When he's when a Muslim say a Muslim sheikh say firstly, it's mean you know what? Take hashish. How in the world you say two things contradicting each other? Look at this. It should be noted that it is possible for a person to see the prophet peace be blessing upon him. I mean, how noted that? I mean, how you note that? How you can like it's possible? I mean, this guy like now he is like the expert in the dream, and shaitan cannot appear in the image of the prophet. Why? First of all, do you know Muslims? What is the image of the prophet? And why shaitan he can take all the images except the image of the prophet and then like later he said look at this how funny it is but he could appear in another another form and they claim that he is the prophet <laughs> oh boy unbelievable that's so smart that's so hilarious so now he cannot appear in the form of the prophet. No, no, he cannot, my friend, but he would appear in different form. I mean, what does that mean? He would appear in different form and he would claim to be Muhammad. Do you see how they see this man as if he's God? What do you mean he cannot? According to you Muslims, shaitan even appear as an image of an angel to Muhammad. So he can take he can copy the look of angel. But he cannot come in the look of Muhammad. Why? Okay, Tipir, Tipir, I will make you an admin. You see, we have to be fair, I guess, for 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 women rights. All our admins are uh, are male, so now I will be accused that I am discriminating uh, females. All right, you are an admin. Are you happy now? He can appear, he can appear in an image other than the image of the prophet. If, wow, that is something. And then he called for us a hadith. Let us see the hadith. Hold on. What is the hadith is saying? All right. It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, I heard the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, say, Whoever sees me in a dream will see me when he is awake. The Shaitan cannot take my shape. <laughs> 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 
how it how it is a dream and he will see me when he's awake <laughs> oh oh boy uh, hold on hold on whoever see me in a dream when when we are going to see him in the dream and Muhammad continue but you can see me only when I am awake you are awake like how it is a dream and you awake do we have any Muslim here in the in the field Muhammad said you cannot you, you shaitan cannot take my image we got that one any one of you who see me in the dreams he whoever see me in the dream will see me when he is awake I want the Muslim to explain that to me I wonder how I wonder why and all what I can see just another lemon tree I turn my head up and down I turn it turn it turn it turn it turn it around and all what I can see a crazy man talking to me I mean you are awake but you are dreaming mm, so the prophet is saying to us you can see me only and only in your dream if your dream happen when you are awake do you muslims dreams do you muslims have a dreams when you're awake awake a dreamer now if we go to the back to the story of this guy this guy he saw him when he was asleep obviously once i saw the prophet in my dream all right hmm. let us continue i mean what we can say what we can say let us go to the second hadith this uh, scholar he is quoting oh we have a caller Hello. Hello. Yes. Hey. Is CP is Tamara. This is Tamara. Yes. How are you, Tamara? I'm okay. Are you calling me in your dream or you are awake now? Huh? Are you calling me in your dream or you are awake? I'm awake. Oh, okay. Because you know, as you see, things happen when people are awake, and I want to be sure. So this is a this is a wake dream, not a, not a sleeping dream. All right. So what do you want to say to us tomorrow? <laughs> what do you want to say to us? Um, I'm just calling to see how you doing. Hi, just calling. Oh, tomorrow she is calling me to say hi. I mean, this is a new. <laughs> this is this is this is a new. Uh, like tomorrow, she is saying, guys, is that hi for me really or for somebody in the chat tomorrow? Be honest. For you. Oh, okay. I thought to somebody, maybe to uh, Lily, maybe to uh, Robin Hood. I don't know. There is many people here. Well, thank you very much, Tamara, for uh, for saying hi. Is there anything else you want to say to us? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I have a topic. You call me just to say hi. Come on. Can't you yeah. wait? Okay. All right. What I can say, guys, you cannot make you cannot make women angry. You cannot. Don't do that. They have nails. They have nails. I'm telling you. They do have nails. I saw them my with my own eyes. It's not, it was not a dream. They were long and sharp. I saw many of them. Well, they, they are armed with those things. Right now. <laughs> you have what? Nails. My I have my nails are different color now. <laughs> oh, so do you think color like changed the uh, the action? I mean, like usually you are aggressive which would which color? Um, I would think it's like neutral color. It's like um pink and white together so, so I like guess, i mean I don't know what so usually you kill men when huh? they are pink or when they are white or when they are red when you like using for killing <laughs> <Bo> <laughs> right. 
Okay, Tamara. Well, thank you very much for calling. I want I, I need to continue with my topic because as you see, people are excited to wait to see what happened in this dream. All right. You okay. can you can call I, me again I, anytime I, you okay. wish. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I Bye. just call in just to see if the um the do will call. So I guess I don't know. Yeah, they will call. They will call. Don't worry. But you know, I, I don't think they will call as long as you spoke about your nails now. I mean, you should not <laughs> you should not mention that. I mean, I don't know. This is not a good idea. All right. Okay. Okay. Take care. I'll Take let you care. continue. Your, you. Yeah, I'll let you continue. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. We continue with the hadith. Uh, by the way, we can talk about later about nails because the prophet nails is amazing. I mean, this guy nails the prophet. Anything about the prophet is amazing, and the Muslim just spoke about everything. His belly bomb. Anything. Anything. Muhammad is described the, the, his the belly bomb of the prophet. I can show you. I can show you how many it's written about his Billy bomb. It's amazing, Billy bomb. If I was exist in the time of the prophet, I will take selfie with the Billy bomb of the prophet. And not only that, I will say it in Amazon. <laughs> Let us continue. Okay. We have narrated. Go ahead, please, Mr. Sheikh. What happened? Why this thing is not working? We have narrated it with a complete Isnid from Ismail Ibn Ishaq al Qadi from Sulaiman Ibn Harb, who was one of the sheikhs of al Bakhari, from Hamid Ibn Zaid from Ayyub, who said, If a man told Muhammad, meaning Ibn Sirene, that he had seen the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, in a dream, he would say, describe to me the one whom you saw, if he gave a description that he did not recognize, he would say, you did not see him, it's Isnad is Sahih, and I have found another report which corroborates it, Al-Hakim narrated via Asim Ibn Qulayb, who said, my father told me, I said to Ibn Abbas, I saw the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, in a dream, he said, describe him to me. He said, I mentioned Al, Hassan Ibn Ali and said that he looked like him. He said, you did indeed see him. It's Eisnard as Jayad. Wow. So if you can't describe him, in other way, if you remember what you saw, then it is must be the prophet. Like guys, do you see the guideline? Do you see the guideline how to know if you saw the prophet or not? If you wake up in the from the dream and you did not recognize or did not remember the details, that's mean it's not the prophet. But hold on, hold on. Is it you who just gave me a hadith before it? It says that your prophet says, Whoever see me in a dream will see me when he is awake. How in the world? Somebody he saw Muhammad when he is awake, he will not remember the details. Any Muslim, you are awake and yet you cannot remember the details. Why? That's when you just saw him. I am awake now and I saw an awakened dream. How long that will be? 10 hours are you asleep or what you are awake how in the world you are awake and you saw your prophet yet you cannot describe what you saw i mean the intelligence of the abdul is amazing guys why we have only 178 Ah, uh, it's a Friday. I mean, people they go out now. You know, they have uh, they go out for dinner, lunch, whatever. You know, uh, and maybe even some people they are going to date. Uh, you remember yesterday, a Muslim she asked for my hand. I was thinking today, not to come and go out with her. You know, maybe we can get married and have uh, give birth to some Abdul. You know.
a Muslim she was praying to Allah that may Allah send me a good wife you believe it a Muslim praying to Christian Prince that may Allah send you a good wife I mean what about sending me a bad wife a good Muslim wife it is someone she will ask for a lot of money she will suck my blood and she will make me homeless I'm serious do you know why Muslim women because they have no security and their husbands they get they keep marrying a new women you know she get older so he replace her with someone younger right some even they replace you after six months so what they do when they get married they start asking the husband to buy more and more like change the I need to change the curtain I need to change the couch uh, she split something in the couch to make it look ugly you know so to force him to keep spending money because she is she is scared if the husband have saving then he the first thing a Muslim if he have saving he would do one of two things either he will kill his neighbor or he would get a new wife mostly he will get a new wife so this wife she would be sure that her husband must stay poor otherwise for sure he will get married from a new woman all right let us continue so if you recognize the prophet after you come out of the dream that's mean this is muhammad but remember muhammad he said that you will see him only if you dream about him when you are awake the sheikh he continues saying with regard to those who say that the prophet peace and blessings of allah be upon him may appear in all forms in dreams quoting as evidence the report narrated by ibn abi asim from abu huraira that the messenger of allah peace and blessings of allah be upon him said whoever sees me in a dream has indeed seen me for I may be shown in all forms this hadith is DF weak <laughs> for I may be shown in all forms <laughs> what does that mean what Muhammad you have multi form do you see guys how the Prophet is very flexible the prophet is telling you that he might appear in many forms yeah and don't forget this hadith is daif <laughs> and then and guys the guy is still he is waiting for the answer you see the guy here still waiting for the answer about the piece of the all this about he saw a piece of paper i mean who care I mean, how stupid this the, the, the human being can be. He did not say to you anything. He did not talk to you. He showed you a piece of paper, and obviously it's empty because you did not say you you saw. So what is this is about, brothers and sisters? The prophet came to me yesterday in my dream, and he walked, and he walked. Walking down the street, la 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 He walk, walking down the street, la 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 la. Okay, and and then he showed me a paper. So all this drama, huh, is about paper. And this shake now is quoting and quoting. And what is the answer? We 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 want to reach the answer. Then he quote for us another hadith. Let us see what this hadith is about. TSI Snit includes Salah, the freed slave of Al Tama, who is DF, weak, who became confused in old age. And this is a report from someone who heard it after he became confused. Fath al Bari, 12 384. Guys, this guy who report this. He reported after he became confused but I never saw a Muslim is not confused did you they are saying that the guy who report this hadith he was an old guy 
in other way it sounds crazy <laughs> secondly see now the Muslim is, is a scholar he jumped to secondly look at this what is mentioned in the quotation oh why I'm reading let me read them let me the machine read what is mentioned in the question about having seen the Prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him as a young man or a child is possible but it is also subject to the conditions mentioned above which is that he should look as he would have looked at that age <laughs> Brother, if you see the prophet and he is coming, oh, let me. Let me why I'm talking like this, you know, brother and sister. Our sister, they are asking question that she saw the prophet when he was young, in other way, he was a child. It is narrated in the Hadith Al Fatil Bari, value number 12. Hadith number three, eight, four. That it is possible for you to see the Prophet as a child. However, there is a condition. You have to see the Prophet as if he look at that time as a child. And this is absolutely true. But what the heck? Guys, those people, they are living 1400 years after Muhammad. How they can recognize that this is how Muhammad he used to look when he was a child? Do you Muslims have a brain? You are telling this person it is possible to see the Prophet when he is a child. Okay, good. However, he have to look like as if he was at that age. I mean, what does that mean? Do did the guy he know how Muhammad looked like? Well, he saw him as a child already. So what do you mean he looked like a child? <laughs> the guy he saw him already like a child. <laughs> No, he's saying to him, you should see him as he look at that time as a child, which means he should see him exactly as he used to look at that time. I mean, here we go. We have an image of Muhammad. And Muslim, what is this drama all is about? Is Muhammad alive or dead? Are you saying to me that the, that the, the dead man Muhammad is coming to you? He's dead. Muslims. Is Muhammad dead or alive? How Muhammad is coming to you in your dream? You see, if somebody says to me, Jesus come to me, well, Jesus is alive. Even in your cult, Muslims, Jesus is alive. So a living person, he might come to me in reality because he's alive. The dead Muhammad is in the grave. How Muhammad can come to you? What does that mean exactly? Yeah, they have a picture of actually there's a there's a video about Muhammad how uh, the uh, how the the family of Ahlul Bayt how prophet look like how prophet Muhammad look like they have a bunch of red head I didn't know if you see it did you see it the video because the Muslims don't accept that Muhammad is not very white he have to be red head so uh, let me see if I can find you the, the the video hold on it's made by Muslims I wish I can uh, here we go guys look at this look at this this guy this redhead guy and he have eye he have eye eyeliner you know do you see him the face of the descendant of Prophet Muhammad all of them if you watch the video all of them is red-headed very blonde and with my respect to everybody, I don't make fun of the look of anyone. But for me, this is not a good looking. First of all, this guy looked like a girl. And he have eyeliner, which make him look like a gay. You can tell he have eyeliner in his eyes. But because those people are possessed with the whitening, Muhammad have to be very white. He must be very white.
and he must be blonde and he must be red-headed watch the video and you will not find one person in that video is not redhead and supposedly those are descendant of Muhammad what do you mean descendant of Muhammad Muhammad he have no descendant what a bunch of liars even the Quran says that Muhammad is cut off by the way if there is any lady she look like you know if you are a redhead all right send me your CV I am you know I'm looking for a wife <laughs> what is that what's wrong if the descendant of Muhammad they have uh, let us say not to say dark skin I mean fair skin they are racist against the black let it go what about fair skin you know Middle Eastern Middle Eastern they are not very very white and they are not dark so why Muhammad is redhead and why the descendant of Muhammad are red? What happened? Maybe later we can speak about Muhammad the white man and you will see how Muslims describe how white it is under his arm. How white is his legs? How white is his ass? How white is his face? Actually, Muhammad, he said, whoever said that the prophet is black, kill him. Whoever said that's it if you say the Prophet is black According to Islam you should be killed Obviously for them. It's a crime. It's a big insult This is how racist False this cult is this is a religion of the white KKK people only you see people they speak about the KKK what the KKK have to do with the Christianity they have a sign of a cross they are devil this is have nothing to do this is based on a stupid culture behavior people they used to be racist for a reason and the reason is lack of education racism always appear in a society suffering from lack of education and suffering from the lack of education about Christ specifically because if you are a Christian person you should know that the Messiah said and the Bible is teach that there is no free there is no slave there is no Greek there is no Hebrew for all of us we are one by Christ slavery is man-made you being a black being white being Asian you are a child of God and the Messiah is our Lord all of us equally anyone teach that black people are better than white or white are better than black or Asian better than white etc anyone he teach such a teaching he is working for the devil stay away from those people those people they will bring nothing but hatred and chaos to this earth judge them by their fruits if somebody regards he's a black or white if he is a bad person he's a bad person that's it do we agree do we agree if the person is bad he's bad it doesn't matter I mean what the benefit of someone he's a he's a he's a, he's a white man but he want to rape your wife how many white they are criminals and how many black there is a criminals everywhere and how many wonderful people they are black people what does this have to do with this if somebody is bad name him by his name don't go by the color And you know, because in certain society, let us say, uh, like let's say, like black people, they are they, they they are suffering from. Not all of them are educated, so you might find a higher crimes or let us say, percentage of crime. But this is have a reason, not because they are black. Everything have a reason, and the last reason is your color. Since the time of the children of Adam, when the brother, he killed his brother, was black and white, yet killing started and crimes started.
you shall know them from their fruits we don't believe in the such a cult like Islam where if you are not white you will not go to heaven to the point Allah will not allow anyone to enter to his heaven unless he turn him into white if you remember we showed you many times the chapter 27 verse number 82 in the Quran where Allah he will send a beast is called a Jassasa is going to hold the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon and he's going to hit the believer in his face with the staff of Moses and he will turn to be white and will, will, will hit the disbeliever in his face with the ring of Solomon and he will turn to be black and then after that the believers and disbelievers will recognize each other by the color which means all the believers are white all the disbelievers are black you remember we mentioned to you the hadith before where Muhammad he said that Allah created the white people from the right shoulder of Adam and he said they will go to heaven and I don't care and he created all the black people from the left shoulder of Adam and he said all of them they will go to hell and I don't care so this is this is the mentality of racism racism is very simple in order for me to be superior and to humiliate someone I have to make myself I have to distinguish myself so I look around me how I can distinguish myself from a group around me as an example in the Middle East Arab Christians are not a black so why how we can discriminate them because they are Christian we, we have to find a reason you know what I mean racism not necessarily about a race as a race Islam changed the racism to other forms it's the devil always changes forms so sometimes racism is about a color sometimes racism is about religion sometimes racism about gender so they could not find a reason to discriminate us and to steal our money and our land except saying oh he's a Christian so we need to find a reason so we as a criminals we can survive and we can make other group join us in our killing machines If we have a neighbor, let us say I live in neighborhood. Let us say we have a bunch of Asian here. Huh? Now, and I wanna, you know, we wanna ride their houses. We wanna take their money. We wanna take their stores. So what we will do? We will find. We need to find a reason to attack them. We will say they are Asian. You know what I mean? Racism is a reason. Is a reason, or let us say it's an excuse for something else. It's not really, it's not because you're black, they want to kill you. It is because of something else. They want something, they want to accomplish something else from what they are doing. Same time, racism, I don't want to change my topic, but racism always will make you a very ugly, disgusting person. Always. The first impact of racism will make, it was going to be on you not on the others you are the one who will pay the price because the second you start seeing other you know like if i saw if i see a muslim if i see a muslim i have no problem to talk to him as long as he is not violence etc i'm not against a muslim as a person i'm not against him as a human being i will never allow anyone to hurt him if I see a Muslim woman in the street and somebody trying to hurt her, I will I will be the first to stand to defend her. Why in the world I will let Allah anyone to harm a woman, regardless who is she? She's a Muslim, she's a Christian, she's a Hindu, who care? When you are a person under the control of hate, you are serving the devil. Don't be the same as Muhammad. Muhammad is a person who told the Muslims that all you are clean, the rest are dirty. We don't believe in this garbage. Don't be one of those and don't be a foolish person. Tamara, she just called me. Can't you tell that she is a good, loving woman? Can't you tell her from her, she is laughing from her heart how good she is? My friend, 
judge people by their fruits not by their color otherwise you are a foolish man who care if this person is a black or white or is Asian if they are good to me it's better than my cousin maybe he will not help me you know once once I wanted to uh, uh, I'm moving from a state to a state so I called you know those who I help them always and they are Middle Eastern I help them hundreds of time I said guys who can join me you know just to help me to carry the couches I'm moving not even a single person said yes everybody suddenly is busy a guy I met him in a chat room honest to God I never met him before he brought his truck he loaded all my furniture furniture with me he drove with me for three days all for free and he is not my cousin and he is not a Middle Eastern and I do not even know him except he know that this guy is a Christian Prince and he love what I do as simple as that three days he's driving with me and he go back home which means he have to drive three days you believe it the guy he drove three days to come with me and three days to come back alone it's not about I deserve it or not my friend this is will teach you that there is there is a good brothers and sisters for you out there not necessarily somebody from your ethnic or somebody from your mother Do you understand what I'm saying? Your brother is not someone he is from your mother necessarily. Actually, he might hurt you. Your brother is not someone he is from the same color you have. Your brother is someone is good to you. A human being, sometimes he is foolish. And he is driven, you know, like, uh, you know, they have like the, the goat mentality. Like if if everybody here does hate those people, we hate them too. If everybody say they are bad, we say, but don't go what people say. Judge by yourself and judge individuals, not the groups. We go back to our topic about seeing a dream now here the sheikh continue speaking about how you can recognize the prophet let us continue and again I said as I said uh, I like it when a Muslim he says secondly <laughs> all right now he said thirdly guys thirdly Thirdly, what does that mean? Okay, thirdly. Let us go by this one first. Thirdly. Thirdly, once this is understood, it is possible for the shaitan to come to a person in his sleep and claim to be the prophet. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. If he comes in a form other than the way in which Allah formed him at all stages of his life. Anyone understand what's happening here? It is possible, first of all, we learn that it is not possible that Shaitan will come in the shape of the Prophet. It is not possible. Now, it is possible that the Shaitan come in the image of the Prophet. Okay, how does that happen? Is it possible or not possible? It is possible that the prophet he come to you in a shape. Hmm? Or many forms. However, it is not possible for shaitan to come in the shape of the prophet. And then 
once this is understood it is possible for shaitan to come in to, to a person in his in his sleep to claim to be the prophet if he comes in a form other than the way in which allah formed him how you know the way allah he formed muhammad i mean you muslims are you losing your mind do you have a picture of muhammad the shaitan will come to you in an image of a man how you muslims will know that this is not muhammad who want to give me the answer for this do we have any muslim let me go in uh, visible in skype all right i am visible now anyone can tell us what's happening And then look what he said here. The story is not over yet. He said, and I love it when the Muslim, he says the fact. <laughs> the fact. The fact that there was a voice like in old times, or very handsome man, or someone who said Muhammad peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, has nothing to do with seeing the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, in his true form, and Allah knows best. After all of this, Allah knows best. I mean, like, can't you shut up from the beginning and say Allah knows best, which means we have no idea what he's saying. The fact there was a voice, like an old time. Anybody knows what does that mean? You see, my English is not helping me, and my Arabic is not helping me. The fact there was a voice, like an old time uh, we have to go and see the guy in the dream in the dream the guy he heard a voice like old time have you ever heard of some something like this what do you mean voice as an old time are you saying that muhammad was not using the bluetooth <laughs> a voice like the old time <laughs> Oh boy, the fact that the voice is like the old time, any Muslim can explain to us, is the voice of people in the old days. It used to be different, like what Muhammad used to speak in. Hello, it's me you are looking for. And you never saw me before. And now you have to guess it's me. Shame on you not to recognize me. Hello. Like what? And then he said, or a very handsome man, or someone who said Muhammad has nothing to do with seeing the Prophet. In his true form, what does that mean? Muhammad was ugly? <laughs> If you see guy he is handsome you know if you see if you see listen carefully if you see someone he is very handsome or someone who said Muhammad has nothing to do with seeing the prophet I know what I mean I'm really confused however the sheikh, he made it so clear at the end. You see, the answer is, became perfect at the end when he says, Allah knows best. So now, after reading this article, did you Muslims found the answer? Did this guy saw the prophet or not? What is the answer? Hmm? Where is the answer? The guy is asking if what he saw it was the prophet. Where is the answer? Nothing. But the most funny, and I find it hilarious about this, that you will see the prophet only in your dream when you are awake. <laughs> <laughs> Awake a dreamer. Oof.
Can you Abdul? Anyone? <clears throat> Those are Muslim want to say something to us about this topic. Any Muslim would like to say something, please feel free. You can call me in Skype. My Skype is open. Let me show you the, the link for the hadith, the guy he mentioned here. The Messenger of Allah, Abu Huraira said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, S A W S of M G, say, He who sees me in a dream will see me when awake, or as if he will see me when awake. For the devil does not take my likeness. Hmm? Then you must want to explain to us what does that mean? And why the devil cannot take the likeness of Muhammad? If Muhammad himself was controlled by the devil according to the Quran and according to the Hadith, and what the shaitan will accomplish by coming in the look of Muhammad exactly. I mean, Muhammad is dead. Is he going to take his job? Is he going to take his place? And how come shaitan, he was able to take the look of Prophet Solomon, as you Muslims believe? Guys, do you remember? Do you remember the story of Solomon? Who remember it? According to the Muslims, Satan he took the look of Suleiman. How he can do that to a prophet of Allah? His name is Suleiman. He cannot do that to Muhammad. Any Muslim have an answer? The shaitan not only he took the look of Suleiman, he started having sex with his wives. Is that correct, Muslims? Who want to answer? Yeah, because you know the story says that uh, when when uh, you remember when the wife of Suleiman, the wife of Suleiman, she was waiting for him outside in the bathroom. Suleiman, he gave her his ring because it's not allowed for him to take his ring with him in the bathroom because this is the ring of Allah, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, when he was in the bathroom, Shaitan he came to his wife and he told her, "I am Suleiman." He came exactly. He looked like Suleiman. He had the voice of Suleiman. So according to Muslims, he have the ability to resemble anyone. So how come Muhammad he cannot? I remember here we are talking about the guy who is a Muslim prophet, Suleiman supposedly is a Muslim prophet. You remember the hadith where shaitan he can take even the look of a dog? You remember Muhammad he said 
the black dog is shaitan kill him or a black cat What was the look of the shaitan Muhammad he captured once? Any Muslim knows? Let's see. Sahih al-Bukhari. Allah Apostle Deputed me to keep Sadaqat al fitr of Ramadan. A comer come and started taking handful of the food stuff. I took hold of him and said, By Allah, I will take you to Allah Apostle. He said, I am needy, I have my dependent, and I get a, a great need. I released him. In the morning, Allah Apostle asked me, What did you do? What what did your prisoner do yesterday? I said, Oh Allah Apostle, the person complained of being needy and of having many dependent. So I pitied him and let him go. Allah Apostle said, Indeed, indeed, he told you a lie. He will be coming again. I believe that he would show up again as Allah Apostle had told me that he would return. So I was waiting for him watchfully. When he showed up and started stealing handfuls of food stuff, I cut hold of him again and said, I will definitely take you to Allah Apostle. He said, please leave me. Leave me, I'm very needy. I have dependent. I promise I will not come back again. I pitied him and I let him go. I mean, look at this story, guys. Obviously, <laughs> in the morning, Allah Messenger, Allah Apostle asked me, What did you do with your prisoner? I replied, Oh, Allah Apostle, he complained of a great need. Of too many dependents, so I took a pity on him and set him free. Allah Apostle said, Verily, verily, he told you a lie, and he will return. Look at this story. I mean, look at the guys, Muhammad is a, is a drama writer. I mean, whoever fabricated this story, he is obviously a drama writer. Hmm. All right, and then, uh and for the third time, I waited for him and for the a third time. And when he come, he came, started stealing handful of food stuff. I mean, this shaitan is really hungry. I cut hold of him and said, I will surely take you to Allah Apostle. That's that's it. <laughs> that's it. This time, <laughs> no way. Is the third time okay, Muslims? Why everything in Islam happened in three times? I mean, what why in this story shaitan is coming three times? You're a prophet, he say Allahu Akbar three time, he say assalamu alaikum when you enter place a three time. Shaitan come and come back and come back and come back three times. And what 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 is the point of this three time thing? The funny the Muslims they accuse the Christian, they are people of belief in the Trinity, but is but Islam, all of it, all the stories of Islam is based on the Trinity. When the angel came to Muhammad, what he did to Muhammad, anyone can tell me? How many times Muhammad been squeezed? Who remember? Who remember? I guess you don't remember anything. I mean, what's wrong with you? Those people don't remember yesterday. I just told them yesterday. You see, they are they are old like me. Unbelievable. The only the only young ones here is the women. The men are gone. Yeah, the prophet he been squeezed three times, and and not only that, the angel he said to him to read how many times? Three times. So three times read, and Muhammad he said to him answering three times, I cannot read. You see, everything is based on number three, 
angel he said read three times the prophet he gave the answer three times and then the angel he squeezed him three times <laughs> but by the way here in the in the audio it was one more than three i think it was a mistake of the angel you are 26 my friend you think you are young aisha at the age of six she was a wife and she was doing you know i mean come on what are you talking about you are very old let us continue and then the story continue or i mean the drama sorry so now this guy this abdul he cut he cut the shaitan and he arrested him in this third time you promise not to return yet you break your promise i mean what do you expect from a shaitan my friend hello and come he said forgive me forgive me i will not teach you i will what i will teach you some words which allah will benefit you if 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 if, if. i ask what are they he replied whenever you go to bed recite ayat al kursi allahu la ilaha illa hu huwa al qayyum till you finish the whole verse hold 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 on the shaitan is teaching you to recite quran I mean, what a good shaitan this shaitan is. This shaitan is teaching you Muslims, when you go to bed, you need to recite Quran. What a nice shaitan. This is a, this is a, he must be a Muslim shaitan. Guys, focus, focus with me, focus with me. The shaitan he told the Muslim, not the Muslim told the shaitan. I mean, listen carefully. It is the shaitan who is teaching the Muslim. The shaitan is advising the Muslim. He said to him, If you let me go, if you let me go, huh, I will teach you something will be very useful for you. So this is like an exchange of benefit. He said, Forgive me. I will teach you some words which Allah will benefit you. Okay, I ask, what are they, man? He replied, whenever you go, whenever you go to bed, recite Ayatul Kursi, Allahu la 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 ilaha ila la luha Oh, you remember this uh, in Mickey Mouse when Tom, sorry, Tom and Jerry, when the, the uncle of Jerry he came back from vacation from Mexico. Bing. And the mustache is gone. This guy now is teaching the guy to sing the song. Get a little, little, little lane on. I mean, this is a song you will sing it before you sleep. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. What do you mean you know that song? I am the one who wrote it. Hello. You, do you know that Mickey Mouse is written by the Arab? Tom and Jerry. We are the founder of everything, my friend. Anyway, this is not the topic. Later, I will tell you about what we did to this world. We are the first people to invest suicide bombing. Vest. <laughs> you Western are very weird. You wear vest for a suit. <laughs> we have different purpose for them. Anyway, so you go to the bed and you recite, you recite the following. I sound like a native Indian now, don't I? Don't I? Be honest. Listen carefully. 
الله لا اله الا اه 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 اله كيو ايوم I look like now I sound like a native a, a Indian from America. Here we go. I became an Indian American. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, now we call we, we recite this verse before we go to bed. And what that will do for us exactly, Mr. Shaitan. Shaitan is teaching us now. And then if you do that, Shaitan continues saying, if you do that, if you do so, Allah will appoint a guard for you. Who will stay with you and no shit <laughs> will come near to you <laughs> till the morning? <laughs> oh boy, unbelievable. What the heck? So shaitan will not come to me if I say Allahu <laughs> Lahu ha hu ha hi ha hu ha Oh, 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 guys, where is everybody? Why, why we are only we are less than 200? Yesterday we were 300. What happened? Just because it's Friday, I mean, this is a shame. Be honest. If there is any comedy show better than our show, <laughs> go and watch all those silly TV programs. They are nothing. They are here. You here. You here. You 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 you. you I mean, you feel so hot. You sweat laughing. I mean, this is a unbelievable. My friend, quit your cable TV and come and join us here. This is better. Muhammad is the best comedy. Listen, Muslims. I don't know what to say honestly. I mean, Shaitan is giving you advice about what to say so he, Shaitan, will not get close to you. Is he giving you the antibiotic against Shaitan? <laughs> oh. Mm. I don't know what to say. My friend, don't tell me you are Chinese. Don't tell me that. I am sensitive. You remind me of my roots because I used to be Chinese when I was a kid. For some reason, I don't know why I forget the Chinese language. The only thing I remember is the alphabet on like few thousand words. Don't tell me that. I mean, now I feel sad because, you know, we are Arab. And the prophet said, seek knowledge even in China. <laughs> How many of you heard this hadith, the Muslim, the apostate around, the prophet said, seek knowledge in China. He Muslim, where we can find this hadith? This hadith, this hadith is dumped by Muslims and rejected from long time ago. Suddenly this hadith is alive. And the Muslim, they like it, even so it's a lie. Which means they themselves they believe it's a big fat lie. Whoever said that about Muhammad is not daif. This hadith is not daif, it's garbage, it's rejected, it's not weak. Yet they spread this hadith all over. And the Prophet said, Go and seek knowledge everywhere, even in China. But he did not go to the next door to learn how to read and how to write. This guy for sure is a knowledge seeker. Now we go back to the topic. Do we have any Muslim have any comment about this uh, thing? In the screen, do we have any Muslim here? Would like to come to the mic? Would like to call us? I wonder where. I wonder how. I can't find. Unbelievable. Let us continue. So Shaitan now is given in return to this guy. If you let me go. I will teach you something when you go let us go back for those who just join us the shaitan he told this guy when you go to the bed you have to read the chapter of the chair this is why the Muslims believe 
that if you have if you saw shaitan or a genie you have to read the chapter of the chair and not only that many of them they believe that you have to read it upside down like what the heck yes upside down because if you flip the chair upside down that will scare the shaitan if, 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 if. So the Muslim they go and they read the chapter of the chair from the last verse Going backward to the first verse. This is how you can read it upside down I don't know how you can accomplish that but it is what they do Then you say Allah la 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 ha hu al Till you finish the whole verse Supposed it is not finished yet if you do that Allah will appoint a guard for you who will stay with you and no Satan will come near to you till the morning My serious question to the Muslims why Allah will send you a guard right away after you say that it's not like a Like a you know uh, It's like a code Hmm? You say that automatically Allah will send you a guard. I mean, you recite the whole Quran and the God will not come. But when you say this verse alone, Allah send you the guard. Why? Do we have any Abdul in the bushes? Do you really Muslim believe in this? That's amazing. This God is getting activated when you say those words. He is asleep. The second you say those words, Allah will send you a guard immediately. Immediately. Any Muslim want to give us an explanation? Is that a fiction story or this is a true story hmm? is that a fiction story Muslims I'm speaking to you or it's a real story don't forget to give our video a like if you are a Muslim and don't forget to give it a dislike if you are a Christian do we have any Muslim here? Sorry, guys, I'm just reading the chapter of the, uh, the chair upside down, so I have to say the opposite. Because remember, you have to read it from backward. Any Abdul? What? Okay, let's continue. Then there is no Abdul. What we can do? I mean, we give up. We give up. I feel like the Israeli army. Hamas, they make a speech, we want to kill the Israeli, we want to kill them. When the Israeli army come, there's no Hamas. The Israeli army leave, Hamas is there. We come, they are not there. They leave, they are there. I don't know. Let it go, let it go. All right. Now, so no Satan will come near to you till the morning. So guys, remember here, take a note. This is a verse only function at night <laughs> it function only at night <laughs> in the morning the it's going to expire just take a note please because you might be you might think that you are protected forever no this is this is this is will expired in the morning so this will work only until the morning after the morning brother Huh? So I released him. Look what this guy he did. He released him in the morning. Allah Apostle asked, What did you do with your prisoner yesterday? I replied, He claimed that he would teach me some words. Guys, here the story is getting really hot. Some words by which Allah will benefit me. So I let him go. Allah Apostle said, ask, what are they? I replied. He said to me, 
whenever you go to bed recite al ayatul kursi i'm not going to show you the rest because that will be more exciting should i show you should i cut now the program the same as i do like in tv like you know series like series number one series number two <laughs> because all of you know what well, i know what will happen next What the prophet you think he will say after this? What you expect? Now this guy, he told the prophet what this guy, he told him about reciting this verse. What do you think is going to happen next? No, I cannot show you, sorry. I cannot. I want you to be excited. The prophet now, look at the wisdom. The prophet, my friend, the prophet. Is unlike anyone. If this is confirmed by scientists from Japan, from China, from everywhere in the world. Hmm. I will show you. I have no choice but to show you. Reno, he want to call. So what is uh, call me, Reno? I don't care if you are Reno, if you are Poget, you are Mercedes Benz. I don't care. Call and don't uh, don't don't worry. I will be nice to you. Actually, I am the nicest with in between all my family. I'm telling you. In my school, I was number one student in my classroom. The principal decided to put me in a classroom alone because I was very much troublemaker. This is why I was the best in my classroom. I was the only student. There's no teachers too. Nobody go there. You know? So I was the best student, brother. The same as Allah. He is the best of the creators. But it was us, the Muslims. If there is other creators, they say no. But Allah is the best of the creators. Uh huh. But how can he be the best of the creator? But there's no other creators. Maybe he was alone in the classroom. I mean, like me, he's the best of the student, but there's no other student. I mean, it's possible. It's possible. So let us go. Let us go. Let, I mean, let it go, man. What's wrong with you? Let us read what, what Muhammad said next. What Muhammad said next is um, astonishing. It is astonishing. It's beyond your imagination, all of you together. All right. Uh, we arrive where? Okay, here. All right. So now he told him, he told me to read, recite Al Kursi, etc. Allahu la hu la hu li la ha la hu la hu la hakiyum till you finish. Whole verse. If you do, Allah will not, etc. He will appoint a guard for you until the morning. So I released him in the morning. Allah Apostle asked. What do you do with the prisoner yesterday? I replied, he claimed that he would teach me some word by which Allah will benefit me. So I let him go. Allah Messenger said, ask, what are they? What are they, man? I replied. He said to me, whenever you go to bed, recite Ayat Al-Kursi from the beginning to the end. All right, to the end. He further said to me, If you do so, Allah will appoint a guard for you who will stay with you, and no Satan will come near you till the morning. Abu Huraira and other uh, narrators added that the companions were very keen. To do good deeds, if the Prophet of Allah said, He really spoke the truth. <laughs> Guys, really, really, Shaitan, he spoke the truth. And look what Muhammad said. Really, really, he spoke the truth, and he also he is an absolute liar. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, uh, oh man. So he spoke the truth and he is the absolute liar? How somebody can be absolute liar but he speak the truth? The second you say absolute, it's mean absolute. Do you know what absolute Muhammad? Do you know what absolute mean? Absolute doesn't say absolute. It says what? What is that? It doesn't say that. Hold on, hold on. Somebody is saying it does not say that. What, what, what do you mean it doesn't say that? My friend. What do you mean? You see the salute? Uh, he see the salute, not the salute. This guy, he see the salute. I see the salute, you see absolute. Everybody see some sal salute, so true. And all what I can see, a lot of empty trees. Hmm. So, any Muslim want to explain to us how this happened? As long Muhammad, he know that this is shaitan. What about you get him? Huh? And then look what Muhammad said, guys. The story is not over. The story is not over. We cannot stop here. Muhammad, he said to him, "Do you know?" Look how deep this is, please. Do you know? Asking the guy Muhammad now. Whom you were talking to these three nights? O oh, Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira said, "No," he said, "it was Satan." Ew. That is deep. Muslims, how Muhammad he was able to recognize that this is Shaitan. And how come you Muslims receive an advice about how to fight shaitan from shaitan before even Muhammad teach you about that? Because obviously Abu Huraira is the one who accompanied Muhammad. He never heard that if you recite the chapter or that verse, you can protect yourself from shaitan. He just heard that from that man. How come shaitan is the one who is teaching you how to fight shaitan, not the prophet? Anyone? Any Abdul here? You know, I, I wanna I wanna warn the Christians when you say something in the text in the in the present of Muslims, you have to be careful. Sometimes Christians they say things can be very confusing for Muslims and can make them have misunderstanding. Like our sister here, she said die, Jesus died on the cross and he took all our sin. This is not true, this is not an accurate as a as a total meaning. When you pose such a thing. Muslim, they will think that you got a license for sin. Please, Christian, stop saying that. When you speak in a in a place, because Muslims always they will quote what you said, not the meaning of it, as you understand it as a Christian. They will go and they will say, hey, "Here we go." The Christian they believe that Jesus died in the cross. That means they can go and sleep around and can do drugs and they can work as hookers. Jesus died in the cross and he took our sin. Stop doing that, Christians. You are giving a wrong idea about Christianity and making people think that we are bad people. Because what you just said will make them believe that Jesus died in the cross for us so we can sin. This is not the truth. 
Jesus, he made it clear that not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So what do you mean Jesus died in the cross and he took our sin? That is not the true story. You have to tell the whole story. Otherwise, don't quote that. Don't post it. What does that mean? A rapist will go to heaven because Jesus died on the cross? A child molester will go to heaven because Jesus died on the cross? That is not true. Everything Christ did is bringing salvation, including the cross. So whoever believe in me and I will live, but there's conditions. And the condition is very clear. From their fruits, you shall know them. A Christian person have to pr provide good fruits. Automatically. It's not your fruit will save you, no. But if you are a fake Christian, you are not accepted. Good tree, give good fruits. Automatically. More conditions. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, but the one to do the will of my Father, which means you believe in me, you follow my step. I don't blame Muslims to get wrong ideas about Christianity because of you Christians when you post those things. This is in Islam, not in our belief. We are not hypocrites. Jesus did not die for us so we can commit more sin. That's not true. Be careful, my friend. Now we go back to the topic. Who is the Muslim want to tell me how this is happening? Any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim here? You don't agree because the Muslims are adding to the meaning, not the Christians. My friend, I'm not saying I'm not saying that you mean that, but when you quote that sentence alone, many they will get it wrong because you have to explain yourself to someone who do not know who you are. You are assuming that everybody knows. You see, if you, when you are here in the internet, it's not the same when you are in the church. In the church, you can say that and nobody will take you wrong. But when you are in a present of hundreds or maybe thousands, God knows how many people will watch this video, and many people do not know even what Christianity is about. And then you say that, especially the Muslims, they, they, they spread lies that oh, the Christian believe that Jesus died in the cross for them so they can do whatever they want. This is what they say. They, they teach their children that. So when you say that, you are confirming their lies. I'm not saying that you are the one who is assuming. I'm saying, I'm not saying you are assuming. When you want to say something about Jesus, say a, a whole sentence. Make it clear. You just use the word sin, that he died and he took our sin. You just said that. So that's it. You just said he took our sin. It's gone. Anyway, let us go back to our topic. Yeah, they are confirming their lies, and we have to refute their lies. And you have to be smart, not stubborn. Because being stubborn is not going to confirm their lies. Only you make other people believe in it. Because there's other people who they are naive. They see those lies and they attach to what you just said, and then they will believe in it. Anyway, you do not read the previous text. Anyway, do we have any Muslim here?
یعنی مسلم یعنی وان Yeah, but you know, sometimes people are very, very stubborn. It's hard to convince people about, uh, you know, when you speak to a Muslim, is not the same when you speak to someone else. But you know, people are stubborn. You think like, okay, Jesus died for our sin. What you can do? That's it. That's it. We have to say Jesus died for our sin, and that's it, because he died for our sin. So we cannot change that. No. You can say one million times, Jesus died for our sin, but you have to add to it. Therefore, whoever believe in Jesus and follow the step of Jesus and do the command of Jesus, he will be saved. As Jesus said, not only he died for our sin and we are surviving, that's not true. Christ did not give us an open license for sin, for fornication, for killing. That is not Christianity. And the cross of the Messiah is one of many things the Messiah hid to us. But the cross is a symbolic of the absolute amazing giving. Even his life is willing to give to save us. You see, when you speak to someone, he is a Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, you better know what Jehovah's Witnesses they have in their mind when you say the words. When you speak to a Muslim, you have to know what they have in their mind, what they've been taught. I don't want to change the topic, but. Let us let me show you something. <clears throat> what happened? I want to show you the mentality of the Muslims from the Quran. وقالت اليهود والنصارى نحن أبناء الله وأحباؤه قل فلما يعذبكم بذنوبكم Let us see what this verse is saying just to answer those and give you the idea how Muslims they think. Chapter 5, verse number 18. The Jews and the Christians say, we are the sons of Allah. For sure we don't believe in Allah anyway, but let it go. Let us say here, they are saying that the son of God and his beloved say, say, why then both he punished you, he punished you with your sin, for your sins. Here is a great example how the Muslims have no idea what Christians believe in. Correct? The same as when you say Jesus died for my sin. Obviously, the idiot Muhammad, he heard the Christians saying we are the children of God. So he thought, because we are saying we are the children of God, that means we will not be punished if we are bad people. Correct? Do you see it? Because he's saying, well, if you are a child of God, then why God will, you know, punish you for your sin? How do you say you are a child of God, yet he is going to punish you? Because obviously, he did not understand what child of God means. He thinks child of God, he have a license for sin. 
Are you getting the point? So when you say what you say, speaking to Muslims, you are confirming what is written in the Quran. They think that we are saying we are children of God, and we can do all kind of sin, and we are saved, even if we are a bunch of scumbag. And this is absolutely far away from the teaching of Christ. From the first page of the gospel to the last page is speaking about you giving the fruits of God. Be holy like your father. That's what the Bible says. Be holy like your father. Not be, be stinky like Muhammad. Not be a sinner. Be holy. If you are of your father Abraham, you do the work of your father. Are we following, guys? So Muslims already, they have a wrong understanding. And you need to explain to them so they will know the truth and they will not stay deceived about what Christianity is about. Tons of lies the Muslims been taught about Christianity. I remember when I was was a was a like a, a youth, uh, a kid with me in the school. He came to me. He said, "I want to tell you something, but I'm afraid you will beat me." I said, "Why I want to beat you?" He said, "Promise me you will not do anything." I said, "Why? What's wrong?" He said, "Promise me, promise me, M make a promise of a man you will not do. You will not beat me or anything." I said, "Okay, okay, I promise you what." He said to me that in the Islamic classroom, the the teacher, the sheikh, he told them that the Christian people when they get married. The wife she have to sleep with the priest first. You believe it? You believe it? How big fat liar they are. So now this kid coming to me, he says, Is that because you know me? There is no way I will accept such a thing. I mean, who in the world is going to accept that? This is what they taught the Muslim children in the classroom about you as a Christian. Then you copy a statement, Jesus died for our sin. Oh, okay. No wonder those people, they do whatever. Huh? Jesus died for their sin. They can go, they can sleep around, they can get drunk, they can do drugs, they can, they can be whatever. Jesus died for their sin. So you better be careful when you speak to Muslims because Muslims are already flooded by lies about you. They have a very wrong image about you as a person. They do not know what Christianity is about. Everything being taught about Christianity is false, as you see, including the Quran. Even the Trinity in the Quran is wrong. Mary is the daughter of Amran. Amran? Who is Amran? Even Muhammad could not quote the name correctly. It is Amram, you idiot. Amram, not Amran. Everything the Quran taught about you is absolutely wrong. The Christian worship Mary and Jesus and Allah. We don't worship Allah and we don't nobody will worship Mary. The Trinity is wrong. Moses is the uncle of Jesus. Mary is the sister of Aaron and Moses. Amram is the father of Maryam. But yet he is the father of Moses. Everything in this book about you is wrong. So don't add more things to the wrong. Make them believe it's wrong. Explain yourself. We continue. We go back to the story about the devil. The devil who taught the Muslim Abdul how to fight. The devil who speaks the truth. <laughs> what? What is making it more funny that this devil is speak the truth? Any Abdul? He is a devil and he speak the truth. Amma innahu qad sadaqaka wa huwa kadhub. The devil is telling the truth. I mean that only in Islam the devil is telling the truth.
my friend down we are not saying you you cannot quote from the new testament i'm saying when you speak when you, you see guys understand me i am here i have a mission and my mission is to speak to people who be already been taught a lot of lies about muslims so i'm not saying to you you cannot quote something from the bible but don't quote it without explaining it because then they will take the quotation wrong are you getting the point you can quote whatever you want from the Bible, but don't quote a phrase will make people believe that we believe that we are sin people who believe that sin is okay. Don't take a statement of the Bible says this is what it says anyway, and let us throw it at them. You need to explain it. If you have a baby and he want to eat, if you give him a piece of a bread, bread is good, but he's a baby. He cannot chew. He will die. He will swallow it and he will die. Even though it's a bread. So when we speak to the Muslims, use your brain. When you speak to a Hindu, it's a different story. The Hindu, he don't believe, he know, he know nothing about, he, he is not informed wrongly about you already. right so we have to be careful that's all what I'm saying no problem do we have any Muslim who would like to call anyone who is a beautiful Muslim like to call us who is a handsome Muslim I like to call us? Islam is the only religion teach that a man he need to shave his mustache and a woman she need to grow one. This is why I'm saying who is a beautiful Muslim and handsome Muslim. Allah and the angels will curse any woman she take care of from her face. Which I find it very appealing by the way. I like women with hair on their face. Very sexy. Very beautiful actually. I mean, like, <laughs> you know, imagine me and uh, a female sitting in table and like, you know, she said to me, you know what, your beard is, is it the same long as my beard? I said, no. So that is majorette. You want to bet? Hmm? I mean, even uh, this religion, every, you know, the funny that the Muslims accuse you Christians with things, they are the one who have it. As an example about sin, right? About sin. Do you know that Muhammad, he said, that Allah will take all the sin of the Muslims and he will place it on the Christians? It is Muslims who believe that Allah will take all their sin away. It's not us. Everything the Muslim he accused you with, he have it. The Muslim he accused you of adultery, Islam is the religion of adultery. The Muslim accuse you of theft. Muhammad is the biggest thief in the world. Islam accuse you to be a mushrik, which means you associate God with God. It is the Muslims who do that. The Shahada is associating the name of Muhammad with the name of their God. And not only that, even they call their prophet the praised one. And obviously they are worshipping Muhammad because if Muhammad is the praised one, who is the praised to? They say to you, we are against fornication, but they have a chapters in the Quran teaching not to marry, but to fornicate. Teaching even you can rent women for sex. They say to you in Islam is against theft, but the same chapter in the Quran says, go and steal from the Christians and the Jews and take their money. They say to you, we don't use the name of God in vain. The same Quran says you can take false oath and Allah will not take you accountable for that. Islam is a million degree, the opposite of a Christianity, not a hundred degree.
Now, guys, I want to remind you tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a debate with the Muslim Sheikh. He is an Egyptian. Uh, he is from Al Azhar University. He's a Sheikh. Uh, he's an Imam of a mosque. Uh, he have a long history of debate. So this guy is not just a, like he's not just a, he he debated for many 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 years. So this guy is very well expert. All right. So we will have uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow you work, guys. Why nobody told me that tomorrow tomorrow is working? I will change the date of the debate then. If tomorrow is working, I mean, all of us we are not coming here. You got offer of sex? That's it. We will not come here. I mean, what we can do without Tamara? How I'm going to debate the guy if Tamara is not here texting me and telling me what the answer? I am in trouble. You think you can text me from from work, uh, Tamara, when you are working? I mean, you can give me that. You can listen, but put the headphone. Come on. Otherwise, it's going to be horrible. Do we have any Abdul here? Thank you, dear Con Liu. I, uh, by the way, uh, uh, people they make donation. I don't say thank you uh, because. I know that's you know uh, 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 the good thing you do. I do not need to say to you thank you, but most of the time I'm not even looking at the screen. But in this case, I am looking. So thank you very much. But for sure, we appreciate all those who support us. Do we have any Muslim here? Any half Muslim? Hey Mustafa, how are you? Mustafa, are you a Muslim, Mustafa? My friend? Mustafa Dirbas? If you are a Muslim, give me a call. We just like to have a little conversation. Any Muslim, if you like talking or calling, feel free, please. You are not? All right. Okay. Uh, about about maybe six or seven weeks from now, I will go uh, again in international trip. So I will not be able to do a live broadcast for a little bit of time. Uh, but I will post still videos. All right, I will still post videos, even though I am in my trip. But I'm not sure how good the internet will be to be able to. Uh, you know, to do live broadcasting, I will try if if the internet is good enough. Go to London? Uh, no, I'm not going to London. First, London is very expensive for me. Uh, secondly, I might go to Europe. You know, uh, but uh, until now, like there is few locations. And the plan is to go through. None of them is London. You should go to PT and check out the nose room. Some spare time. Paltok, you mean? Well, yesterday I went to Paltok just for a few minutes. I don't, I don't uh, go to Paltok no more because Paltok became really dead. I mean, there's twenty people there. You know, it's not, uh, it's not busy as before. Yeah, but I don't want people to wonder why, uh, because you know, uh, uh, many years ago uh, uh, when I joined the USA Army, I was away for some time, and I came back. Imagine the same day I came back, the Muslim they spread the lie saying that Christian Prince was killed, and they are opening a room in Paltok celebrating the death of a Christian Prince. Imagine, the, imagine the name of the room celebrating the death of a Christian Prince. You believe it? I went to Paltok admin, the co-admin, the company, and I said to them, "Those guys are celebrating." My death. 
and look how smart the cool admin he said to me are you saying you are not dead <laughs> oh, <very evil. laughs> what are you saying you are not dead I mean can you can you believe it how idiot he is I'm talking to you man what's the world what do you mean you are not dead <laughs> are you saying you are not dead I said regardless if I am dead or not and obviously I'm not I'm speaking to you uh, is it allowed in your policy to allow people to celebrate the death of somebody let us say I, I, I am dead you know but he was really funny stupid are you saying you are not dead hmm so I have experienced before that when I go away for some time the Muslims they claim that Christian Prince die yeah don't worry you will not miss me much I will, I will pause videos I will be sure that you will receive videos uh, always all right <clears throat> do we have any Abdul here uh, Musa is what Musa is saying CP I was the one who was waiting for awaiting your death but at this time thank you very much long life okay so Musa you are you are an ex muslim you was you used to be a muslim oh, okay so Musa he was a born muslim and looked like he was able to overcome the cult i'm so happy for you Musa good for you if you like you can call me Musa if you want to say if you want to share uh, your story what happened to you why you decide to leave Islam I understand that you are saying listening to me and you learn from me etc but we will be better if we hear from you if you like to share it's up to you anyway any Abdul wanna call us as you see in the front of you in Islam may make no sense Islam is, is a kind of collection of stupid stories uh, superstitions the devil whispering shaitan wanna steal shaitan wanna steal food guys for God's sake shaitan wanna steal food D did you notice here with me the story how funny it is when they are saying that this is a shaitan he wanna steal food I mean he's a shaitan but yet he is hungry as long as the Muslim believe that shaitan he can come invisible Shaitan, he can come just to show you how you, you see the the problem is that when you don't have knowledge Muslims they can get away with their stupidity if this hadith is sahih and obviously it is sahih this is sahih Bukhari how we can get Muhammad busted Shaitan is coming to steal food Shaitan is coming to steal what read with me carefully what he do each time he do what he do huh food stealing handful of food stuff that's it shaitan is stealing some food and you muslims believe in this The hungry shaitan. I mean, shaitan, he can go to any casino, man. Shaitan, this is shaitan. Do you know how powerful shaitan is? And now he is trying to steal a sandwich, and even that, he is not good in it. He, he was caught. He was caught. And then. To get Muhammad busted about this, there is a verse in the Quran that says, "Innahu yarakum, wahu wa qabilahu min haythu la tarunahum." Okay. Muhammad he just confirmed that he can see us, but we cannot see him. Shaitan he can see us, but we cannot see him. Which means at least it's possible for him not to be seen.
Let us see. Chapter 7, verse number 27. It says, and guys, the, the shaitan, he have a tribe, like Quraysh. You see, Muhammad, because he's a Bedouin, he thinks shaitan have a tribe too. For he and his tribe watch you from a position where you cannot see him. We made the evil ones friends only to those without faith. You believe it? Isn't it Muhammad who said that shaitan, Allah help him against him, so he command me but to do good? So this verse confirmed that we cannot see the shaitan, but yet he can see us. So how Muhammad? Isn't it Muhammad he said, if you hear uh, 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 the the bearing of uh, the donkey, that means he saw a shaitan. And if you hear the rooster, that means he saw an angel. Let me show you the hadith. Oh. I'm trying to find the height in English. Read with me carefully. Uh, just to show you the wisdom of the prophet the prophet by the way is amazingly wise and he is very knowledgeable nobody can or nobody ever was able to reach such information except the prophet muhammad peace upon him when you hear the cocks crowing ask allah for some of his grace for they have seen his angel but when you hear an ass praying seek refuge in allah from the devil for it has seen the devil. Oof. 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 So Muhammad, he is telling us a very high top secret information. If you hear the rooster saying cuckoo -coo -coo -coo, he saw an angel. When you see the donkey, or you hear the donkey uh, brain. That mean he is or he just saw the devil. Any Muslim have a comment about this? And by the way, this is Sahih, so you don't tell me this is weak and you know this is Sahih. Yeah, but the Bible it have nothing to do with this, uh, you know. Muhammad is telling us. That, and by the way, the Muslims they, they they made a miracle about Muhammad saying that. You believe it? They say there's a scientific miracle, uh, you know. And look how the Muslim they 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 flip things up. They say that animals they can see things differently, and they can sense things differently. So the Prophet absolutely was telling us the truth. And then there is a guy he made an article says, if you see the waves of light, huh? It have a three hundred time, like the, the the sorry the 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 animal have a three hundred time more powerful in seeing than a human being. We are talking about the rooster, we are talking about the donkey, and then he keep adding like numbers and numbers, and a human being cannot see, and, and you, you, a human being cannot see the X ray, and blah 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 blah, and blah blah blah. What X ray, Abdul? This is an in this is an invisible. What X ray? They made an article about animals seeing things, but Muhammad, he named only two animals, the donkey and the rooster.
is the eyes of the donkey able to see the devil in the article they actually I, mean, I should make a video about it as long you smart Muslims you say that the angel the, the angels and the shaitan one can be seen only by the rooster and the other one is seen by the donkey and you claim in your article that animals they can see what we cannot see how come here in this story only the rooster can see the angel why the donkey cannot see the angel both are animals why other birds cannot see that what about the female chicken i mean do you see how silly how stupid what they say only the rooster his mrs mrs a chicken cannot see the 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 the, the, the angel both of them they are chicken <laughs> oh boy they flip what it is a stupid to make it a statement of science look how stupid it is they made an article saying that this is a miracle there is a video made by a Muslim uh, Egyptian Sheikh you know he said that uh, you know you remember the hadith where Muhammad he said if a, if a fly fell down in your soup dip it dip it dip it and then eat it you know like th uh, drink the soup uh, he said you can you can look for the video in English uh, he said that the Catholic Church they hired two German scientists to expose the Prophet of Allah about him saying that if a fly fell down in your soup dip it dip it dip it for one wing have a medicine and the other wing have a disease so those two to to a scientist according to the muslim this is in tv by the way you can find it in, in, in youtube you can search for it those two scientists who is hired by the catholic take a note here the catholic huh? the catholic church in germany uh they start studying this to prove that the prophet is a liar and here was a disaster they found that the prophet was telling the truth and then they told the catholic church and the catholic church they told them don't tell anyone about this keep it between us secretly i mean do you see the muslim they heard about the story but it's secret between the scientist and the catholic i mean the catholic and the scientist like you know together like oh, don't tell anyone please because if you tell people they will convert to Islam like crazy and then those two scientists they sold their discovery which is the prophet discovery to a company it's called what I forgot it's a German company Brian blah, blah, blah. I forgot uh, uh, and now they are making from the discovery of the prophet a drug to fight AIDS and every bill is five hundred dollars. Buyer, buyer, sorry, buyer, buyer. Yeah, the video is in YouTube. You can search it. You will die laughing. And if you go to that company, you will find that they don't sell drugs. They don't do make drugs for AIDS. So look, they fabricate a big story. Catholic Church because they hate the Catholic to death. They hate, they don't hate, you see, for the Muslims, all of us, we are Catholic because Catholic for them is the enemy of Islam. Not as some, they lie and they say, oh, the Catholic is the one who, the founder of Islam. This is absolutely false. Actually, nobody, if not the Catholic, all of Europe and all of America will be Muslims. It was the Catholic who stopped the Muslim invasion. So the Catholic, they hire two scientists, the Catholic, and they paid them. And look what happened. You can look for the video. Let me see if I can find you the video. Hold on. It, it is trans it, it, uh, translated, by the way, because uh, uh, the one who translated it was uh, what you called. Many more, many more TV and something like this. Many more TV. Uh, 
I was typing in memory TV, yeah, okay. Hadith of the fly, let me search for it. All right, let's see if we can find it. If somebody can look for it and find it for us, so we can share it with everybody here. Actually, I made a video about it, you know, uh, before even Memory TV they speak about it. But you, you, you can imagine always how they try to create a story out of nothing, sponsoring lies. Enter now, I could not find anything. Hmm. I'm sure it's there if you go to the library of uh, but it's going to take time because they have thousands of videos and I don't remember really I'm just guessing trying to guess what is the name of the video what was it but it's very funny do we have any Abdul anyone Nobody. Anyway, guys, today we are not going to stay long. Uh, tomorrow, uh, 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 my book, uh, I finished the cover. By the way, guys, you want to see the cover of my, my book? Do you want to see the new cover of my book? Let me see. I changed the cover how it looked like just because some of you did not uh, uh, like the first one uh, but I don't know how I can show it all in the screen together hmm I have to scroll down in the and let us see if I can make it small yeah maybe this way we can make it work all right let us see if that will work But maybe it's not going to be clear for you. But what we can do, I mean, it's a it's a cover, so you have to shrink it. All right. Is it clear or not too much? What do you think? In case you did not recognize the picture, clear. In the background, there is a mosque and there is a blind curtains, and then there is a bed in the front of it. All right. So it is it is symbolic for the topic, and I make it pinky, pinky red. Good. Yeah, but it took me a lot of work to do this. By the way, you cannot do that. By the way, only Arab can do that. You see, because we are the one who made those softwares. Yeah, if you go in the Middle East, you will find all the softwares are even for one dollar. Do you know why? Not because they stole them. No, but because we are the one who made them. That's why it's so cheap for us. You can buy a CD, have Windows, Windows 8, Windows 9, Windows 7, all software, Microsoft Word. You have anything for, for a dollar because we are the one who made the change the color. Why? It's about sex. It is red, pinky red. I think the color is good. It's like a red district, my friend. The whole cover is is uh, symbolic. 
what is important is what is behind the cover the cover is symbolic for a topic right six is not pink it is red and pinky in the same time come on guys like come on what I will make it for you are you going to buy my book because of the color this is not a clothes my friend this is a cover of a book <laughs> Change the cover, please. I will not buy your book if the color don't change the color. We don't read the book the color, any, you know? Yeah. It's pink and red in the same time. It's kind of pinky red. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah, red light district, exactly. Red light district. Don't buy the book then if you don't like the color. You are a guy who buy the book only if you like the color. I got it. Any Abdul? Uh, so anyway, the book uh, is going to be out in a few days from now. Already the cover is done. The, the everything is done. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for the the proof uh, for the printing. What happened? The printing proof. Not the, the everything is done. So that process take a few days. And maximum is going to be out by maybe four days from now. Maximum next Friday, like now, the book will be out of Amazon. All right. And actually, what I will do, I'm thinking what I will do, all those who they subscribe in my uh, Patreon, not necessarily a donator, you know, those who they follow me there, I'm going to post a link. And I'm going to make the price for the book for a few hours extremely cheap. I mean, like it's going just to be the cost of printing. So whoever subscribed there, he will receive the link and he will get the, the very cheap price, which is going to be a few dollars. Good. Those who always they you know support me. I'm not talking about only those who make donation. Those who come always, etc. They deserve to get my book almost for free if I can give it to them. But first of all, I'm not the one is printing. I can just change the price, but there's a minimum I can go with because remember, uh, Amazon they have to make money, and they are the one who print the book for me. So there's a minimum I can go with. I will go with the ma max minimum. So you go, you purchase. I will keep it like that for maybe two hours. And then I will set it back for the normal price. You purchase it, and you have it. Uh, usually, books goes in bookstores. If you, if I sell my, uh, like you know, you have to um, sign a contract uh, with publishing companies. Uh, you have to share, like, to sell some of your rights to them. I don't do that because then they they have control about the book. I don't like anyone to have a control of my books. It's my books, it's my work. I've been offered actually by companies to buy the the right of my books, which means they will publish it. I have nothing to do with it. And they give you uh, what is going to be tempting, let us say. Uh, but I don't, I don't sell my books like this. Uh, there's uh, I'm not going to publish it first in Kindle It's going to be first because first is going to be out of in paper well if you are living in in a countries where uh, uh, shipping is for free or let us say very cheap I mean get get the paper one it's better than Kindle I for me myself I like books I like books in my hand you know uh, you sit all day in front of the computer and the screen is hurting your eyes I mean do you want to read a book even there Remember when you are reading like now when I'm writing my books uh, uh, My eyes really get hurt. I, I stay for long hours uh, Right now. I'm working in my other book, which is the roots of the Quran and uh, Soon I will start writing ad additional one, you know, but it's not easy sitting and you know watching uh, Especially when you are concentrating in something you are reading or studying or etc Reading a book is a lot more comfortable Yeah. Uh, uh, 
last time when uh, think twice last time when R right now all my books are printed by Amazon always buy the book from your country from your country which mean amazon.uk you are in Germany amazon.de don't go to that 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 uh, de to buy to UK then they, they might charge you for for uh, shipping don't go to Am excuse me to amazon.com because they might charge you for it uh, uh, because they print locally Amazon they print locally so if you are a person who order from Germany they print in Germany this is why shipping is for free if you buy in the UK use amazon.uk all right no it's going to be print locally so what, what do you mean don't come it's going to be locally chip locally and they and it's not going to show outside what is inside the book it's not like a plastic where, where a Muslim can see what the book is inside they will not see the postman will not know what is inside he will know it's a book only it's very easy you can go and make an account in Amazon take you two minutes enter your name remember your password username Amazon actually a very good place for shopping especially in America you can find a lot cheaper prices from anywhere uh, as an example I buy from Amazon uh, ink for my printer laser printer you go in the store it costs you 25 27 you go on Amazon you get it for nine dollars there's a huge difference because in Amazon there's no nobody pay for the shelf those who have a stores they pay for rent they pay for security they pay for electricity internet is internet it's just a picture in a website you make an order they ship it to you yeah here we go Renee she is going to buy my book because of the pink cover see I told you women they will like this book and they will buy it but they will not read it by the way they will just make it like a, they will look at the cover the pink cover it's not really totally pink you know it's kind of uh, pink and red in the same time red pinky all right I was thinking to make it yellowish anyone remember why yellowish yeah you see think twice because now it is printed locally this is why it's for free so now you can get the book you know before I was I, I was doing the shipping and the shipping is really expensive so if you want to buy a book you pay $20 for the book and then you pay $20 for shipping that is 40 and you'd not even have the book yet uh, no yellow wish you remember when Muhammad uh, wife she was dripping something from her private part and they describe it as yellowish and obviously the wives of Muhammad they are infected they have an infection in their private part yeah what did it say in Arabic ah you want to know what it says in Arabic unbelievable فيهن قاصرات الطرف لم يطمثهن إنس قبلهم ولا جان. In it or inside the those tents, the houris, there is women who no genie or uh, uh, or a human broke their virginity skin. All right, before them. This is what the verse is saying. I'm just quoting the Quran. Women who they are restrained, they are restrained in their tents, and no man, no genie, broke yet their virginity skin. This is chapter 55, verse number 56. The Muslim they translate that as no man and no genie touched them. Doesn't say that. Does not. It's a lie. This is why my coming project is to translate the Quran and I am thinking to translate the Quran not in the regular way because until now there is not a single Quran translated as the Muslim claim it is according to revelation which mean you remember that the Muslim believe that the first chapter was given to Muhammad is a chapter 96 now correct so what I'm thinking to do is already I, I did some good work in the translation by the way 
already I did a lot of translation, but I'm thinking just to reorganize, uh, which means I will, I will, the book will be printed not as the Quran it is today, as it used to be supposedly in the original shape, because that will make it, uh, 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 let us say, unique, because there is no book ever written in this way. Even the Muslim don't have a copy like this. Well, the important about making translation is to give a correct, accurate translation as the, the best I can. Because I always remember, you know, when you translate, like the same as when you translate the Bible, you have you do, you do your best to translate the meaning, not literally the words. Right? Uh, because sometimes the words can be plain. You have to understand the culture. Uh, so a successful translation is a translation give the meaning without losing the structure of the words no it is two volume this is volume one and volume two they will be published together in the same day so you can purchase both one and two but because volume number one is speaking about islam uh, uh, actually even in the volume number two uh, about uh, the uh, the Arab uh, sexuality before Islam as an introduction and then sexuality in Islam as religion on earth and then in volume number two we start talking about uh, uh, Islam uh, sex and heaven you know what I mean so both they complete each other so you, like when you buy it you have to get the, uh, both of them Uh, that's mean you have a you have a bad internet my friend to download a video for, take you three days that's mean you have a bad internet that's mean maybe you live in the philippine by the coming friday is going to be out for sure it might be um, uh, th three four days from now but maximum because the book is ready i already i sent it to the publisher uh they will send me a copy uh to approve it i check it out everything fine i say okay go print and that's it you know so this is just a process we have to go through and then it take about uh 24 to 48 hours to be in amazon to be ready for purchase so you will have it very soon all right and i hope you guys you will like it and you will enjoy it anyway uh tomorrow remember please we have a debate with the Muslim Sheikh, an Egyptian. Invite your friend, tell everybody. I'm going to make a new link today about the debate tomorrow. I would like to see you guys copying it, sharing it with your friends in Facebook, Twitter, etc. So we can get as many as we can. This is a professional big Imam Sheikh. He is from Al-Azhar University. This guy, he did debates for many, many years. He go almost every day in a in a big Christian room in in Palto, which I used to go before. And actually, yesterday I went there, and they you know they give me a welcome heart, uh, uh, like a uh, 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 warm welcome. Uh, uh, did not see me for long, uh, so he go there always and debate with those Christians. So this guy he received tons and tons and tons of questions before, so he is a very expert in debating. So I'm expecting him to be, uh, let us say, I never debated him before. I never spoke to him before. But he heard of me. I never heard of him. Uh, however, we will see tomorrow how it's going to be. All right? No, no, he will be here. He will be here. He will call me. We will use a, a pal talk to call only. But we will be in YouTube. All right? No, no, he will show up. Tomorrow I will open maybe around 4, 20, 25, like this. So when he call me, we will be there and we will be waiting for him. Friend. Please be early, be ready, because we will start the debate right away. We will not waste our time. The guy, he call us. We have a time. I believe he will come on time. So we will not wait. So I might even start even earlier, maybe 4. You know, Maybe I sit it at uh, 4 just to get people ready. And uh, you know, at 4.30, we will start. 
No, no, we will use YouTube, my friend. Pal talk, he will call me. This is not your business. Instead of calling me in Skype, he will call me in Pal talk. This guy don't have Skype. He don't know how to use it. All right? This is not your business here. This is how he will call me in private in Pal talk. All right, guys. There's no topic. The topic is Islam. He can ask me whatever he wish. I can ask him whatever he wish. This is a real challenge. Uh, when people they have a topic prepared topic it's a stupid there's no meaning of it because people they go and download and uh, print and copy paste tons of questions and they just throw it at each other you know what i mean this kind of topic or a debate is not a debate when we have a topic set um, a month in advance it's me where is the surprise surprise me you know what i mean if you tell me what, what about you give me all your questions <laughs> This is what this is what about uh, giving me a, the topic what the topic is it's stupid because you go they, this is what they do those kids they go and search in the internet okay the debate about the Trinity so he go to a website he have no idea what the Bible is saying he just called copy and paste copy paste you know so we don't do this kind of garbage if you are a person who have knowledge you can take any question is being thrown at you you do not know say I don't know I mean, you know don't claim something you don't have right is going to be in English my friend why we want to speak in Arabic the guy he speak Arabic yes he is an Egyptian yes but the debate will be in English and yes all right so it's going to be in English don't worry we do not need to translate but for sure we might read verses in Arabic because me and him that will make it easier for me uh, to debate him because he speak Arabic he cannot say to me uh, this is a translation like yesterday when we showed the idiot Yusuf Ali, I asked him what translation you are reading. He said Yusuf Ali. I said, okay, here we go. Yusuf Ali saying that this is the book of Moses, is the Torah. He said this is a translation. <laughs> you know, so uh, they they play this game. You know, when they want the translation is good, when they want the translation is false. An Arab guy, he cannot do that. Especially it is recorded. Especially he is a professional. He's a sheikh. He will look bad. He will look very bad. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to stay longer for today. Today is a Friday for you, all of you. Go and enjoy your time with your family. And tomorrow, be ready with us. Let us say from now, I'm going to open my program tomorrow at 4, not 4.30. So when he call us, we will be ready waiting for him. Is that a good deal? Tomorrow at 4 p.m., I will be here. All of you join us. The Sheikh, he will start debating at 4.30 exactly. So join us invite your friends tune in and get your popcorn and don't forget to visit me in the hospital after the debate because each time i debate a muslim i get broken bones bruises i lose my teeth by the way my tooth they grow they grow back you know because i eat too much yogurt so but uh, this is what happened each time i debate a muslim so i'm expecting the same will happen especially this guy is a high professional cleric so allah knows best what will happen you know so thank you guys for four i will start at four i will open my program here at four i will be here at four but the debate will start at 4 30 as we agreed with the shake 4 30 the debate will start but i will be here at four so you can join us at four we talk we chat a little bit and then at 4 30 the guy will be here and we will have a good time i want to say thank you guys for for being with us and please, when when we release, uh, release the book Sex and Allah, uh, get your copy uh, for the sake of education. In the same time, this is how you can sponsor what Christian friends do. Tell your friends about it, share links, and you will learn there things you never heard before. Because uh, sometimes, but by the way, this is not a book for kids. Don't give it to kids. This is not. You you will see. It's not for kids. Like if you are in the age of uh, who is here? I'm the I'm the youngest here, I think. If you are in the age of uh, think twice, he's sixteen, I think. Rene is. Mm, I think Rene is fifty-two. Yeah, like this is the age is good too. Like, you know, if you are 16 to 52, the age of Rene and the age of Think Twice. Okay. Tamara, I think she is like 14. I think the book is not good for her. You know? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. A correction. Her her birthday is two weeks from now. She is not fifty two yet. She is fifty one now. Sorry, I apologize. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, after tax. Right. Right. Is that before tax or after tax? Have you ever heard of a woman saying that my my mom she is seventeen? What are you talking about? And you are twenty six. Oh, we have a Muslim is calling. Hold on. Hello. He hang up. Let me call him back. Finally, we got a Muslim calling me. I was going to go. I don't believe it. It's a miracle. Let's see if he will answer. This guy is in the in the toilet. Hey, Omar, how are you? Omar, are you in the bathroom? Hello? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, anyway, guys, thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. He was, I think, he was just uh, getting rid of some Quran. And uh, yeah. What we can say. So tomorrow at four, I will be here. And I hope that's all of you will enjoy your time and uh, uh, if you know Muslims they are like in Facebook invite as many as you can because that will encourage Muslims to see uh, a real real discussion how Muslims answers and how Christian they answer so let us see what will happen all right I'm sure that the Muslims will have the benefit of this debate and uh, the Christians too and I hope that this sheikh he will find the truth and the truth will set him free. We will do our best and we will get the uh, you know, let's say the uh, the truth published for everybody and everybody can see it. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until I see you tomorrow again at 4 p.m., Christ is Lord and Islam is false. See you soon again. Bye bye.